What up, what up, what up? This is just a really short video I'm going to do here on two new Bibles that I've just recently purchased within the last week. Uh, these are both TBS Bibles. Excuse me for the, the light on them there, but it's actually getting the glare from the window. As you can see, these are both TBS Bibles. Uh, if I try to line them up together here, holding with one hand is going to be fun. So they both have Holy Bible on the spine. Uh, these are pretty basic cubs. Uh, they're both calfskin leather. They are both zipper. Uh, the first one, the smaller one here, this is the TBS Royal Ruby. This is actually a really awesome little Bible. Uh, it's great, great, great. Uh, they're both text only Bibles, so there's no references, no concordance, anything like that in them. Uh, they're pretty basic. Uh, just to show you this one, so this is the Royal Ruby. As you see, it is a zipper. And this is the TBS Windsor, which is also a zipper, it's also calfskin as well. Uh, so just to give you just a really quick example of what they look like, you can do this. Mind you, I'm doing this with one hand, which is definitely a lot of fun to do, I'm trying to hold this camera. But this is the Royal Ruby. So if we open it up here, uh, it's got your nice little calfskin right there. Uh, the Windsor does not have the stamping on si inside of it, but it is... Uh, Definitely calfskin as well. The lighting is not the greatest right now. Uh, the Ruby does have the thumb indexes, both sides. It does have the gilt edges, they're not art gilt. And like I said before, the text on it is really simple. It's a text only Bible. Uh, the font that they use is really awesome. It's their own, their own font. Um, this one, I'm not sure. I don't think this one was printed by Youngblood. It might have been, but I know the Windsor was for sure. I'll just to give you just, just a quick look at it, it's a beautiful Bible. I love this one. The reason I got this little Royal Ruby is it's something I can just easily stick in my pocket. The clarity of it, even with me and my 50, you know, almost 50 year old eyes, I have no problem whatsoever reading it. Not at all. Um, it is all black letter, so there's no red letter in it at all. So you just have a nice black letter there. Uh, the helps that it has in the back, it has just some some general general words if you wanted to look up. So you got some words in it, your old school King James words that you have troubles with. It's got some some of the basics in there, the the more as people would call archaic words. Uh, but that is the Royal Ruby. I absolutely love this little Bible. Like I said, it's, it's easily easily something I can just fit in my pocket, and it's a. Uh, Gonna be with me whenever I gotta tote my BDUs or something like that. Just put on some cargo pants and just drop this right in there. This is Royal Ruby. This is the Windsor. Let me see if I can get this open up here with one hand. And this is just a very basic video. And to show you the grain real quick, the grain for the Royal Ruby. You can see that. It's got a nice grain on it. Stitching is done really well. And then for the Windsor, as you can see on that, it's got a little bit different. It's not quite a, it's not quite as deep as the Royal Ruby is, grain-wise, but it definitely has an awesome feel to it. This one here, what I love about this one, you can see the size difference between these two. That's meeting that up at the top. It's definitely significantly bigger than the Ruby, but this is what I absolutely love. I just got this today. And just getting it today, right out of the box. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right out of the box. Just lays beautifully for you. And if you see the size of the text, that is absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Easy to read. Uh, some places say it's a 9 point something font. The other places say it's an 8 point font. I have no idea truthfully what it is. I just know that it is absolutely beautiful. Look how clean that is. The line matching on it is awesome. It's pretty awesome. It has more of a cream colored uh, page. The paper, the Bible paper is actually like a cream colored instead of being the white. And to put these two together so you can just kind of get an idea what the text would look like in the Royal Ruby. I'm just going to go just generally speaking to the same book here. So we'll go to Matthew. Matthew, you have the Ruby, and then you have the Windsor. So 
you can see that text there. So there's definitely a, definitely a size difference there. But for what you get in there, you know, you throw this in your pocket. Definitely not as clear as that, see being the size difference. But readable nonetheless. So this is the TBS Royal Ruby. Uh, these are both purchased from evangelical.com. I absolutely love them. And this is the TBS Windsor. And the helps and everything are the same inside of the back of this one as well. But they are both really awesome Bibles. Uh, this one, I want to say I paid 30, 35 bucks for something like that. They are both under 40 bucks a piece. So definitely worth it. Definitely worth the investment. And I didn't mention this before, but these are both King James. Um, that is definitely my, my, my primary Bible that I use. I love the King James. I always have. I grew up on it. And for me, it's a... Uh, just a Bible that I absolutely love. I just love the translation of the King James. Uh, so it's just the fronts real quick. And it's pretty much that. And that's it. And just to look at this one, this is, like I said, once again, this is the Windsor. This one is printed and bound in the Netherlands by Youngblood. And like I said before on this one, I do not think that this one was printed by Youngblood, but I could be wrong. And there you go. Printed in Belarus. That's it. God bless. One love.